Alright, uh, hello, and we are back with Season 1, Episode 9 of Veronica Mars. Uh, last episode was pretty good with, like, the whole, um, purity test thing, uh, plot. I thought that was a pretty good standalone plot. Um, however, I was not, uh, super on board with the whole thing about Veronica potentially being, uh, Jake Kane's daughter, and I predicted that the episode before, that that was where they were going, and I really hope it turns out not to be true, because that'd be, that'd be really gross, and I, I just, I feel like I don't need that. Um, but yeah, um... I guess no point just talking about it, might as well find out, so let's just get into the episode. Oh, we're picking right up where the last one left off. No, please don't let it be true. Yeah, exactly, it's gross. Is she just taking the word of this criminal? Like, she's believing it because he said it? I'm positive whoever took these shots was sitting at that table over there. Oh, that was nice of them to accommodate. It's convenient they actually ordered something. Yeah. Okay, she's believing this a little too easy. Are they, are they really doing this? I'm not a fan. Her, her, her dating her half-brother, not, not a, not a plotline I ever needed or wanted. What? No, no, home plate. Hey. Whoa. Nice. Right. You asked me. No, you begged me for a waterbed hmm. like four years in a row. Oh. It was your obsession. He's trying. Oh, it's okay. You forgot to remove the masking tape. Price. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, it took so long to get Santa's old dead ass in here. <laughs> Casey is just not the kind of kid who just up and joins a cult. Hmm. If you really were a good father, you'd let me draw some of your blood for the test. <laughs> Nobody will know the difference. Besides, you've been sexually active. I haven't. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, she's serious lying about it. What do they worship? Wedgies? Keggers? <laughs> do not, under pain of slow, agonizing death, even think about going to the compound yourself. Yes, she's going to do it. Yeah, so she's doing a paternity test. Finding out he's not her father wouldn't prove that Jake Kane is. Her mom could have cheated with someone else. Yeah, I mean... Oh, that's sad, though. Oh, what a jerk. Oh, well. That is not great, but he's still a jerk. I think he's got something going on with Miss Mills. You mean, like, sexually? Yeah. What? It got to where he used to make cliff notes for the intellectual posing. <laughs> oh. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm talking about the folks that have the moon calf book, and that's where I live. Oh. Something tells me he'll be the to get that of any. Because I've been Your dad said no. So this new ready to go whenever you are. Wait, what did dad say about going out there? <laughs> yeah. What else is new? Huh. She took her own car, at least. Hmm. Yeah, she's going in the barn. Okay, that's not really appropriate in front of the student. That's fine. Oh! Oh! No, oh, that's not that fun. I smoked the goat once. It's, it's weird. It feels weird. I guess you could say it's the ultimate cash crop. Oh, they're running drugs, aren't they? Yeah, see. Break out the mushrooms and dance naked. Drop on the goat skull headgear. Sacrifice a few infants. What? Um. Wow. Oh. Aww. I feel bad for her. I bet, like, now she's gonna share something real about herself that's gonna be the point of this. I'm sorry, I have to go. Hmm. So this is part of the act, I guess. There. Yeah. Performance should have the mask in the back. Yeah, that's I guess why you can't go in the barn. How did she get his did blood? Did she get JK's blood? Hey, listen, would you like to join me for a walk? 
Mm, that's suspicious. Aren't these poinsettias? Christmas is right around the corner. Wow. So we never been. You just want me to be happy. Strange. <laughs> Oh, oh no, is she being weighed by the pole? Oh, boy. Yikes. Yeah, well, he did tell you not to do it. It occurred to me, the prom uh, with um, Jake Kane and her mom would have been, like, well over 20 years ago, so they would have been broken up before she was born. I guess the implication is they were having an affair, but... What if she's not their kid, but they do have, like, a different kid? That'd be a lot like, um, Riverdale, but of course they would have done it first. But that might be it. I really hope she's not actually Duncan's sister. That'd be so gross. That's gotta be the worst decision I've ever seen by someone who was literally brain She could be. I'll be following your game plan the rest of the way. Hmm. What is your basis for that call? The absence of SWAT stickers engraved on their forehead, <laughs> please. You are officially off this case. I'll take it. Yeah, that'll work. What if she dies the bulk of her fortune? About eighty million dollars goes to Casey. Oh, what did you do to her to piss her off? That's that kinda gross. I'm quite good at my work. That's yeah. gross though. I've got to go visit my grandma in the hospital at this point. Do you want to look? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Okay. Is she? Does she have a crook on her? My parents who called her grand monster behind her back just stopped paying any attention to her. Oh. It's amazing how much better they started treating me once they found out that she was a ball of money to me. Wow. They're horrible so people. How long have they known she was stealing her money to you? They've known for years. What? Wow. Huh. That's... Green? She's a runaway. Minor. Hmm. So you can so get some... Holly, there's something you need to know about. Right now. Oh, Veronica, don't. They're abducting him? Wow. Not for a couple of days anyway, so let's just hold off, see what happens, okay? Um, he's the guy's she's creepy. She's a lot better off where she is. Mm. But that, that creepy deprogramming guy is gonna do something to Casey. What? Don't think I didn't notice the sacrifice. My pleasure. <laughs> so. Yeah, he's uh, different. He's not as nice now, the deprogramming thing. And consequently. An heiress. And someone who dated her brother. Yeah, she's not gonna open it, I guess. Don't do that. Oh, come on. You need to know if you were dating your half-brother. Especially if you're gonna get back together with him. What? What's the point? You still should know. I, I never understand this sort of thing. Like, he's still your dad, but you should want to know if he's... Biologically, because, like, again, it's important to know whether the guy you were dating might maybe be having that sort of thing with, again, is your half-brother. I, okay, I'm not pleased with that decision. It's not denying it, like, she didn't, she wouldn't have to claim herself an heiress or whatever. She would just have to, you know, know the truth. Okay, that not appreciated ending aside um decent episode um i wonder if they're going to follow up on the whole deep programming thing um with the guy and whether he's like something bad happened to um casey but yeah you know decent handle plot but yeah uh I, I 
don't like the, the, the way she decided not to read the results of the paternity test, especially because I'm sure it'll come back up later. And also, how could she not want to know if she was dating her half-brother? And also, like, I didn't know whether, like, like, because if they found out he was her half-brother, then obviously they weren't going to, like, do a romance thing with them. And now they might still... I really wish they had just let us know. Not, not to believe that. But, um, yeah, I mean, no point just continuing to restate those thoughts. Um, I wonder if Casey's going to be a recurring character. He seems kind of nice. Um, yeah, next episode is apparently a Christmas episode. And so that's interesting. Um, yeah, and I'll probably watch that tomorrow because it's once again after four o'clock in the morning. So, uh, yeah, um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, for more reactions, uh, and other videos since I don't just do reactions. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you with the next episode. Bye.